Plus, a mother calls the I team worried about her child's health at school. <laughs> Peanuts and policies. Where do local schools draw the line in the lunchroom? And in our next half hour, a parent's concern over peanuts. When it comes to dangerous childhood allergies, we ask where local schools stand on the issue. More complete coverage. This is KETV News Watch 7 at 10. A slowdown in the lunchroom when it comes to dangerous allergies. The I team takes a mother's concern to local schools. First, let's check back in with Bill. Welcome back to this hour-long edition of KETV News Watch 7. I'm Melissa Fry for Brady Peterson. And I'm Rob McCartney. The mother of a preschooler raises concern tonight about a potential health threat to her child at school. Her son is, is allergic to peanuts. Exposure can be life-threatening. And she wants to know what her child's school can do to limit exposure. Well, so do we. What are school policies for students with peanut allergies? Answers tonight from high team investigator Melissa Homan. For four-year-old Jaden Johnson, favorite foods uh, hamburgers. aren't the problem. But something as simple as a peanut butter sandwich could be disastrous. We carry up pens everywhere with them yeah. in case it gets exposed. Jaden has a peanut allergy. Exposure to peanuts, peanut oil, or in some cases other people who come in contact with peanuts can lead to a dangerous allergic reaction. And his Head Start has very strict guidelines to protect him. They were wonderful. They have a rule, um, no outside food. Um, they don't serve the children anything with peanuts or processed near peanuts. But with Jaden growing up, his mother, Kim Johnson, got worried when she attended kindergarten roundup at Bellevue Elementary. I had asked the question, um, is this a peanut-free school? And I was told that no, it wasn't a peanut-free school that actually he would eat with other children at tables and they do serve peanut butter and jelly at the school. Bellevue Elementary Principal Robert Ingram certainly yeah. knows the danger. His own son is allergic to peanuts. We had to be careful with this, the lunch menu ourselves, look in advance, plan the meals from home, and we did that as a family. But Bellevue Public Schools does not have a blanket policy on peanut allergies. Special accommodation will have to be made for Jaden. And we found he's not alone. School districts across the metro are making similar accommodations. Here at Papillion La Vista, there's no peanuts on the menu. And the same goes for Millard Elementary Schools. Okay. And at Omaha Public Schools, Tammy Yarman, Director of Nutritional Services, says the district works on a student-by-student -student basis. One of the things principals have done is they've made their parents aware that their child does have a peanut you know, allergy in the building, just so that they're aware of that. And in some schools, they may ask you know, families not to send peanut butter and jelly. Children's physician, Dr. Lars Vanderberg, does not believe schools need wide-ranging restrictions to address peanut allergies. The numbers, I don't think, are really increasing, and the severity is not changing. I think our perception and uh, proactive nature uh, is increasing. The doctor says parents should make sure their children's schools are aware of any allergy. In Jaden's case, a plan will be constructed to minimize his risk of exposure. His mom certainly has some suggestions. I think the minimum they could do is allow us to have a peanut-free table. That's a new one for me, a peanut-free table, but my mind is open to that. If we need to do that, and if, yes, I'm willing to do that. The Johnson family will meet with the school nurse next week to finalize a plan for Jaden when he starts kindergarten. Schools doing their homework so students, including Jaden, can focus on their lessons. Mm -hmm. Go to school. You be good. Yep. Melissa Homan, KETV News Watch 7. Now, Dr. Vanderbilt tells KETV News Watch 7 approximately 1 in 10 children has a food allergy, and while some fade with age, peanut allergies usually continue for life.